standard thermal analysis technique it is done either by dsc or the dt dsc stands for differential scanning calorimetry while the dta stands for differential thermal analysis in dta the difference of the temperature is measured as a function of temperature or time while in the dsc all things are same like dta except additional measurement of enthalpy or energy required to keep the sample at same temperature as that of reference so this is the most suited characterization method for preformation because it requires only 2 to 5 mg of sample in the very first step the sample is prepared and for that the sample is taken in the crucible or the sample holder they are made of ceramics in general now the robotic arm will do the rest of the work it picks up the sample holder and places it in the furnace in the furnace another reference sample holder is present the comparison of heat flow between the sample and the reference is the observable parameter for dt the sample and the reference both are heated at a constant rate as there is loss of heat or gain of heat by the sample when it changes the phase upon heating exothermic or endothermic signals are registered and recorded the crystalline fusion transition evaporation and sublimation stages can easily be visualized through these thermograms thermal analysis gives a lot more information than the melting point in this particular example the first thermogram is the dsc of drug which shows clear endothermic peak which was found shifted in case of its complex the bottom one shows this with other carrier it's visible that the complex was showing the unique peaks unlike the drug and the carrier now after completion of the analysis the sample is being removed by the robotic arm slowly and swiftly please be cautious while removing the sample holder and never use bare hands to touch the crucible just after analysis during the analysis it gets very high temperature and it might burn your skin